What up, dog? K100 Radio, man, we live right now, man. We rocking over here. It's media day. We down here, right off the E-Boy, right in E-Boy City in Tampa, man. Rocking with a whole bunch of people over here, man. Good joint. Loud on 7th Music Festival has been going down. Last night was the battle, yo. Y'all got to go check out some of the clips I sent. It's crazy on the social media. Go look at some of the boys, and the boys are going in. But right now, today, you know, we're going to talk with everybody. They pull up all the artists performing, everything. So holler my folks, dog. Let them know who we rocking with, player. Yo, what up? It's your man, man. SK, aka 7K. From Hampton, Virginia, but we all the way from Maryland right now. We live. All right. Shout out to Hampton. Shout out to the 757. Yeah. All that up there. I know a little bit of something like that. Yeah. I, lived, I lived in Norfolk for three years. Norfolk, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I lived in Norfolk for three years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So salute to the 757. I rock with them boys with them, man. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about yourself. You performing tonight? Yeah, I'm performing tonight. Um, first and foremost, shout out to GT Management, Gloria Talley, and Anton, my managers who actually plugged me into this. Um, I'm just out here, man. Uh, like I said, grew up in Hampton, Virginia, living in Maryland right now. Got an album out. We rocking tonight, doing two of my singles, Been Outside and In My Car, produced by Lab Rights, and my man Ice Cold Beats. All right, man. Slot. So, uh, how long you been at it, dog? How long you been in the game? Ah, uh, man, it's been a minute. Uh, yeah. Ten years. Ten years? Yeah. So you just started. <laughs> yeah, just started. Just started. If you know anything about the industry, he just started. You just know what started. I'm saying? If you really know the real industry, by the time a lot of these superstars become superstars, they've been doing it for about ten years. I'm glad you emphasized that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's really important that people understand that. But, you know, we rock with the independent artists, so we like to catch them early. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yes, Before it all goes left and crazy and right, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Then y'all can't talk to us anymore. We want to talk to them and introduce you to them. You feel me? So sure. talk to me about your music, man. What kind of vibe you on? Ah, uh, man, I just talk about my life how I see it, you know? Uh, uh -huh. What I go through in, in daily day basis. Um, real life situations, everything I've been through, uh, relationships, friendships, yeah. uh, the streets. I try to talk about everything. I don't try to just focus on one crowd, you know? I try to write right. the world with my music. You know right, I mean? exactly. I like that, dog. So, uh, you know, the, 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 the game is like changing, right? It's shifting as far as the sounds. It's about time. Yeah. Because every 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 couple of years, it starts to shift. Yeah. The sounds start to shift. Would you describe your sound as current, or do you kind of like just do what you want to do? Do you try to make music to stay fit into what's trending, or do you just kind of go your own way? I try to just be original. I try not to sound like anybody else, but I definitely try to cater to everybody in the audience. You know, you got young people, uh -huh. you got old people. So when it comes to like constructing a song, when it comes to the hook, I try to generate to the old, the young people, something that they can relate to. You know what I'm saying? Something they can repeat. Right. And uh, when it comes to the verses, I just give you me, and then hopefully everybody can grasp that. You know? All right. A lot of people say, uh, and I'm, I'm I'm sort of of the opinion. I lean more towards this opinion about it. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to do both because hip hop is 50 years old. Yeah. Right. So you've got all these different generations, and you know it's basically a couple of hip hop is more than one genre now, but it just had yeah. broken all the way down. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So. I find it difficult when people say, well, I'm trying to do this for the young folks, but then if you're a certain age, like, yo, but I'm trying to keep them too, it's like, to me, yeah. the way that the way it works now is like, maybe maybe pick a side, maybe pick a battle and target 30 and up, or pick a battle and go 30 and under. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I've seen that work for a lot of different people, where they say, you know what, forget it. I ain't worried about that, because this yeah. is where my lane is, and I go towards that. What do you think about that? And that's my lane. Like I, like I said, I try to cater to everybody, the youngers and the old crowd, you know? Uh, I try not to lose focus on that. I won't, don't lose sight of the young generation, you know? Because they bring yeah. a lot to the table, right. you know what I'm saying? And But I'm old school, too. I love hip-hop. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I try to give a mix of all of it. Like the album I got coming out, I'm working on right now, it's called Gumbo. Okay. A little bit of everything as it goes in the gumbo. Right. You know? Right. And um, that's what I try to keep my sound like that. Try to get to everybody. Who Who was your inspirations growing up? Like, who do you... What, name an artist that you like, yo, that's that's kind of like... When I heard when I hear him, it made me just want to go in there and get in the booth and do my thing. Tupac, all of all time. Okay. Tupac. Uh, I like that answer. The art of storytelling, you know? Right. Yes, sir. I like that answer. I mean, yes, that, and that's what I'm saying. That's why it's like... For me, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, if I, if, if I, if I want to make an album... I like I like the idea of gumbo. Yeah. But I also like chili. You know what I'm like saying? Chili? Yeah, chili's got meat and sauce. And that's yeah, it, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm giving you niggas. Meat and sauce. If you don't like meat and sauce, sorry. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, this ain't the meal for you. You know what I'm saying? Definitely ain't. But so but I but I but but the yeah. idea of gumbo is, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Um, you know. Uh, my family's originated from the South. I was born in California, but I grew up right. in Virginia. I right. know a lot of people from up top New York, you know, up north. And a lot of people love the down south tradition, like the food. Right. And I think gumbo was one of the, you know, one of the main dishes outside of, you know, all the seafood things of that nature. You know right, I mean? right, exactly. But yeah, gumbo, I just feel as if that's going to be everything in the boiler pot. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You get your sausage, you get your sausage, your rice, and right. corn and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So what are you, what are you performing today? What songs are you rocking out? I got a song called In My Car. Uh, that's my hit single. Yeah. And a song called Been Outside. All right, tell me about it. 
All right, been outside is uh, you know, everybody saying they've been they they outside. Yeah, we're back outside, back outside. Well, right. We, I've been outside. We travel the country. We try to do shows across the state. You know what I'm saying? That's where the been outside come from. Shout out to uh, my homie Vanessa. Okay. Um, they was on a girls trip. Her, uh, my wife and her friends, and they actually said, "Where you at? Where you?" They like the little challenge. Right. An outside challenge. I said, "Man, I like that outside." I ain't back outside. I've been outside. You right. Know what I'm so I try to give it from that perspective. Uh, the song in my car, man, is is is, is self-explanatory. You got to get in your car to go to work. You got to get in your car to travel. Um, I don't know what y'all do in your car, but I'm gonna show y'all what I do in my car. We are gonna say that for the performance. Though. All right. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's pretty much what it is. Like, yeah. and that's at this. That's why I say. Music is, is is like what are you targeting? Like mm -hmm. I can like, like like I don't know how old you are, but I'm, I'm in my forties, right? Yeah. So I don't go to the club no more. That like in the, in the in the real sense of the word, I'm like fuck the club. I don't care. I don't care about the club. I don't go. I may go to a lounge yeah. when it's my friend's birthday yeah. and they invited me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But there, there's nothing in me that just pulls them to the club tonight like yeah. I used to. You feel me? So then, so therefore, it's like do I do I really need to make a club song? I don't think I do. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah. Nope. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what I do. I ride in my car. So in my car, it's a different vibe. When you're exactly. listening to the music, you kind of get into it a little bit more because you're zoning out. Exactly. You know what I mean? So is that the kind of vibe that you're gonna be on with that song? Yeah, that's that's the vibe. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm here tonight. Yes, I'm here tonight. I'm, I'm coming to the concert. That's why we're getting these interviews out the way now. Because normally I'll be trying to interview and then watch the show. Fuck that. Today, if you ain't here to get these interviews early, oh well, because I'm packing the shit up and then watching the show later on. So I'm going to watch my homie right here do his thing. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Right. Before we wrap it up, though, I want to make sure people can find this music, man. Where yeah. you at on social media? And I got a website, the7king.com. T H E, the number seven, king.com. You can follow me at seven underscore king underscore 757. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. We in the building. The Seven King LLC on Facebook, you know? Absolutely, man. Tell me, before we go, give me a little bit of updates on the 757 because I ain't lived there in the 90s. You know what I'm saying? I, I lived there since the 90s. I was in it. It was in the 90s when I was there. I loved it, though. Oh, I had a time. I had a time when I was there. But, you know what I'm saying? What's been changed over the past, what, 20 some years? You know what my dad told me? He said, son, if you leave Virginia for 10 years and come back, people are going to be doing the same thing. Uh huh. But when it comes to the music side of things, uh, there's a lot of talented artists. It's a melting pot. Right. Um, shout out to Capri, Amelia E and T. Make sure you follow. Shout out to the whole girl. I'm gonna make sure I tag her in this. Yes. I am with her on Facebook. You were? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that, and, and she was down here for the Ugly Money Fest. Yes. But I missed her because the day that I went, I went. She came the day after I went. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But hey. All right. And they said her. I'm gonna make sure. I'm gonna make sure I tag you. I'm gonna make sure I tag her in this. You know what I'm saying? Because you know we see the name spread. No, shout out to her because I see she really be working. She be on her grind. Yeah, she really works. That's like my favorite promoter, man. She uh, she's from Suffolk, Virginia, but she does right. everything for Virginia. Right. She does invasions where they go to different states and cities and travel. Yeah. Um, she was with uh, she had Wendy Day came through too. Yeah. Shout out to Wendy yeah. Day. She's yeah. been on the show before. Salute to Wendy Day. Everybody yeah. over there. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying she's good people too. I've met her before. She did an interview with us at South by Southwest. So uh, definitely a really a really cool, good-hearted person. Knows a lot of. Yeah. It was a lot. It yeah. knows a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For real. Yeah. So and uh, so listen, man, and that's what it's all about. It's all about networking and relationships. You never know who knows who. Yeah. Industry is very small. Yeah. Don't forget that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So anything you want to say before we roll? Nah, man. Shout out to uh, GT Management, Flyboy, Snacko. Shout out to my wife. Ashley Knight, my big supporter, you know, catching behind the scenes and all that. Shout out to Vanessa. That's her back there filming. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's her yeah, back there. <laughs> yeah, Yo, you, it's, it, it's, no, but, you know, I, let me do one more thing while we're here. Ain't got time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. What's it like being in the music industry and being married? Because I am myself, too. And it was an adjustment for me. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it was an adjustment for me because I didn't start out married. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, a, uh, it's a balance. Uh, yeah. My wife, she's uh, considerate of how I feel about the music and she's a, a total supporter. Right. She ain't gonna tell me nothing, you know, for us. Gonna if, if if she seen messing up the bag, hey, I think she do this. And 99.9% .9 of the time she's always right. So, you know, shout right. out to my wife, man. That's my backbone right there, my true support, my rider right there. Alright, we wanna make sure we give her some love too. Yeah, Alright, yeah. this is K 100 Radio. You know the drill. Hit subscribe on that channel and all that. Follow us at K 100 Radio. And one more time for my man, follow you where? SK7 King, the 7 com at 7 underscore King underscore 757. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. K100 Radio.